Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and uh, today is a very special video. Today is not only the uh, final episode of season two, and uh, it's also uh, the, the 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 day of the winner update. And for the finale, um, we're gonna be voice chatting with a lot of people in my server today, so you guys can say hi. Hello. Hello. All right. So yeah, the 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 car we have today is the 2000. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Bullhorn Dash. And uh, I think this. Yep. I think this. Um, I think the real name of this car is the 2000 Dodge Interpret. So yeah, let's get into this video, guys. So Hyper, what do you have to say about this car's overall features? I really like the uh, sleekness of the design of the car. I like the four um four um window or doors. Sorry. And I like the, um, back, um, back lights, and I, I love best is how it looks like that bullet shape, sort of like, yeah, sort of like, um, the previous car we did a couple episodes ago. Right, Jocko, what do you have to say? I really enjoy the rim design on this, and how, instead of pulling it, you actually have to lift up the little handle in order to get inside the car. As well as the fact that it sort of looks like a bullet. Scuba Joe, what do you have to say? What do you have to say about the overall design of this car? Uh, well, I would like to say, uh, everything about this car is really nice. It reminds me of, uh, 2000, and uh, I don't know why. I had this car in real life, and uh, it really reminds me of that. Oh, interesting. Well, what about you? Oh, listen to what Zach said. Say it again. I love, I love, um, I love resen resembles how it rese resembles a Dodge Neon and an Avenger, but then the the Dodge Neon is a little bit shorter in the back. I agree with that. So yeah, that pretty much uh does it for the exterior features. Now let's start it. Okay, pretty average startup. Let's honk. Very nice, very nice. I, I like how we all hung at the same time. Let's rev. That rev never gets old, I swear to god. Alright, let's take this to main- Whoa! I just did a burnout, did you guys see that? Alright, sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, this is the third cheap. This is like the third cheapest. Um, this is like the second most cheapest car on the market. I mean, it's the number one cheapest if you put it in the feeder base team. All right. Uh, let's just wait for that black, that black dude in the in the in the front. I'm not sure who that is. All right, so everyone, um, I'm gonna be pulling over. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be going that far today. I'm just gonna be going to pull over at the uh, probably. Uh, let's pull over at the farm. So let's go. I think I clocked the 0 60 time at around 7 or 8 or 9 seconds even. And the top speed is 124 miles per hour. And this is a 6 speed uh, automatic. Oh, red light, red light, red light! Red light! Guys, red light! I think Jocko just ran that one. Yeah, just a tiny bit. All right, uh, Jocko, you can pull over at that farm right there. Okay. All right, 
so uh, let's discuss some more features. As as everyone said, they really like the overall front and back design. But the thing that really interests me here is how the is how the bumpers actually connect with the rear with the rear design because the Bullhorn logo is directly in the middle, unlike, unlike most of our cars. Because most of our cars in season one were obviously muscle, and uh, and uh, most of the cars in season two were also were also chippers, and they didn't really have the uh, the uh, other the other um, logo in the back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This car only has one muffler. So guys, tell me what you think about the back. My neighbor actually has this car in real life too. So um, I really like the back. I'm just gonna say that. And I like how the trunk is sort of like um, uh, I don't know how to put it. Oh, let's see it right there. I like how the light intersects with the trunk. That's just all I'm gonna say. Alright, Jocko, what do you think? Alright, I'm pretty sure every, everyone here is on the same opinion. But... Alright. I actually agree with Jocko about the rims, because the rims actually represent like a modern version of the sleekness of the car. So yeah, good point, Jocko. But, but, but the last thing we do need to talk about is the, like, the bottom of the front. And how the grill design has the, has the bottom headlights not too far off, so that's something I really find weird. Because most of the, because most of the, like, uh, cars that we did were, were, like, way off, and didn't even, and some of them didn't even have the bottom headlights. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice change of pace. So yeah, that pretty much does it for today's car. Now let's drive it back to spawn and end the video off. This has been one hell of a Christmas special, right? I know, right? It's be the best Christmas ever. Oh, come on. Come on, Jack. Yeah. This is great what 2020 kind of needs, I guess. To finish it off. Yeah, the happy ending. Very not happy. Yeah, I know. It's nice that we all got to do this together. I'm glad everyone can make it. And drift! That went very, very smooth. That went very smooth. Whoa! Alright! Guys, just before we end the video, I got a quick announcement. This is going to be set as my very first live video premiere, so as the video goes public, we can live chat with each other, so that's pretty neat. So if you yeah. wanna if you wanna stay up to date about about that, please be sure to leave a subscribe subscription, and click on the notifications bell so you always so you always keep on like so you always stay up to date with my channel. So uh, with that, you guys can say your final words on this video. All right. Well, anyway, guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, and we will see you next season. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Bye everyone. See you next season. See you next year. See you next year. Next year.